Yo, let's chat. Let's talk about Zaxby's. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We were talking about it earlier. I said it's like a 7.5. It's like an 8. It's not bad. It's good It's good chicken. As a chicken kind of sauce, still not the best chicken I ever had. The way Wings be hyping it up. What y'all think about who 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 who, who in the chat live in, the, in poverty, a.k.a. the South? Who here? Uh, who here? What, 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 what would y'all rate Zaxby's? What Zaxby's? Um, it's a chicken spot that's hood adjacent down South. It's like, it's not casual. I mean, it's not, um... It's not fast food like Popeyes, but it's not like a sit down restaurant, like a nice. It's it's the new genre of fast casual. Like the inside of the Zaxby's was actually pretty nice, but it's like a fast casual spot. It wasn't bad. Most people are saying 7.5, 8. I see a 6. Okay. Okay. I was a little disappointed they didn't have any Pepsi. Not that I drink soda, but, you know, for the sake of the joke, I, I wanted to see some Pepsi for wings. Favorite wing spots? I don't eat wings. I'm a grown ass man. I don't, like I said, I don't understand the point of eating 20 wings when I can just eat one big chicken breast. I'd rather have a big in my mouth. Mini chicken bit. Yeah, I want the big, listen, bro. If the woman gives you the big piece of chicken, she respects you, bro. If she gives you the little piece of chicken, she, she doesn't respect you, bro. What kind of... Listen, man, if my woman turn on a fryer and put one little chicken drumstick in the fryer and say, eat this, what the fuck I'm supposed to do with that, man? Give me the big piece. I'm giving you the big BBC. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's all I'm trying to say. Like, So if y'all call us an 8 out of 10 for fast food, y'all nigga always have bad taste buds. I guess. What would you give it? This man's a Zaxby's hater. The thighs were, yeah, the breast, the thigh. That's what I, I prefer, the, the breast of the thigh. I don't understand this whole eating little drumsticks and shit, bruh. Y'all niggas be eating little little chicken, chicken bones and shit. Be deep throating and shit. Y'all niggas weird. Imagine going to Fridays and deep throating 20 bones. Nigga, you weird as shit. Go do that in your own house. Don't nobody want to see that. What's wrong with you, bitch? Boneless thighs or bones in them? Depends. Am I paying for it or not? monster if i'm paying for it i prefer it to be boneless boneless booty but uh but uh if i'm not paying for it i don't care it's free as long as it tastes good like i feel like tiktok is for weird niggas bro like y'all see this shit on there niggas on tiktok with you with they homie they'll be like hey bro bend over and then he'll shout in his butthole real fucking loud yeah and then they'll and then they'll be like whoa i'd be like is that like yeah, whoa, nigga, you just shouted at that nigga's asshole. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Yeah, man, if you watch TikTok, I don't respect you. I've been on it. I've been watching it, like, in, like, okay, so let's say you're on the, the For You page, which is, like, the main page. Let's say I watch 10 TikToks. Maybe out of 10 TikToks, I'll like one or two. They're not all complete weirdos, uh, but most of them are. Most of them are. I'm not going to lie. A cicada, a large, noisy insect that cleans through the trees and it cries. And the... Yo, who remembers cicadas, bro? Cicadas attack the nation. They... They tacked the world back when I was in eighth grade. What year was that? That was like 2004. If you went to sleep, it would fucking, if you went to sleep with your mouth open, it would fucking fly in your throat and you'd die. you turn into a bug. When you got your girl at the at the end of the bed and you're making her, let me stop. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's the stream for the day. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I try to be rude, but I watch YouTube to be entertained, so I couldn't care less about their personal lives, but that's just me. No, nah, it's not that's not rude. That's why people get on YouTube. You're not wrong. I think it's okay to share your personal life on YouTube. I think there's just there's a such as I, I think we're reaching a point on social media where we're starting to overshare. And the thing like if I could advise anybody is the internet is forever. So before you post something, remember like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years down the road. Would you want somebody to see that? Do you think you might be embarrassed by it? You probably shouldn't post it because it doesn't matter whether or not you look, especially if you get popular, it doesn't matter if you delete a video. The moment you upload something, somebody downloaded that shit, bro. And they got it on their hard drive and they ready to expose your ass. That's like the new thing, bro. Motherfuckers just sit around waiting to expose people. Shit's weird, but that's what they do life ruiner like i'm highly glad that like social media wasn't a thing when i was a kid like myspace started to come around when i was in high school but like it wasn't that big of a deal like niggas wasn't on myspace all fucking day unless you're a loser um 
advice to live by. But nowadays, they growing up with Twitter, TikTok, Instagram and shit, 10 years old, posting videos and shit. Like, I'm glad that shit went around because from a standpoint, you look at it like, oh, look at this little dumbass kid. But that probably would have been you because at the end of the day, you can't be upset with them. They're kids. They're doing dumb shit. What the fuck is this honeycomb for? I thought uh, Winnie the Pooh was gonna come out. How many of y'all be playing Wario wear a butt naked in the chat? Press one so I can ban you. Yo, why the fuck isn't Waluigi in Smash yet? He's hella swaggy. Waluigi needs to be in Smash Bros. He needs his own video game. I'm just saying. Like, what's the story of Waluigi? Waluigi. Waluigi is like the tallest character in the Mario universe. He's like 6'4. So you know he gets hella hoes, because according to Twitter, if you're tall, that makes you a good person. Women like tall men. Waluigi is a slashing small forward. <laughs> a rebounding wing. This man backstreaming the day I have work. Truly a shame. All right, spoiler. We all know you're not old enough to hold, have a job. Don't come in here lying in the stream, bro. Just say what up. There's this thing in America called child labor laws, meaning anybody under the age of 14 is not allowed to be hired for a job, okay? You don't have a job, and if you're really working, you're probably fucking raking leaves right now because it's the fall. Cut it out. This nigga came here and said, I'm at, where you work at, nigga? Where you work at, Spoiler? <laughs> I really want to know, where the fuck you work at? <laughs> this nigga was 12 yesterday, now he got a job. All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, this nigga Spoiler make fucking Lunchables in the back of the cafeteria at elementary school talking about he got a job. He'd be sweeping up, yeah. <laughs> He sweeps up hair at the barber shop. That's what Spoiler be doing. He sweep up hair at the barber shop. <laughs> and then when he get done sweeping up, when he get done sweeping up the hair for the barber shop, they don't even pay him. They slap him on the back of the neck. Good job. I have a second interview with a game studio next week. Any advice? I've never worked for a game studio. Unless you count my experience with EA. Which I guess I could put that on my resume, but I, I, wouldn't, I couldn't tell you. You better off asking Ethos that question. What position you uh you apply for? Make sure to hook me up with some free codes when the game comes. <laughs> and somebody, somebody tweeted me, and he tweeted back. He was like, "Shut up, fatso." If you sit on the app, on Twitter all day, fucking dealing with people like that, I think it was something like uh, it was something about the podcast. And he was just like, "Shut up, fats." Oh no, I was saying, should I make a? I said, should it? Because I recorded like some food vlogs. I was like, should I make a separate channel for travel and food, or should I make it a playlist on my main channel? And dude replied and said, "Shut up, fatso." And like, if you're like a very sensitive person and you stay on the app, like, like on Twitter all day and like Instagram, that shit will like break you. It didn't bother me. I laughed. I'm like, wow, like this man is really hurt. <laughs> but like, you got to take a break from that shit, bro. That shit will fuck with you. If you, if you saw, I heard like, I heard people, um, cause I got a friend that, that works on crew. I heard that like people be having, uh, like, like crews love, what's the word I'm looking for? Like love springs or something like that. Like. Niggas be falling in love on a cruise, and then when a cruise over, they don't be. They be having like cruise girlfriends and shit. Is that true? Like, who in the chat got a cruise girlfriend? <laughs> they fall in love on a cruise. They be on a cruise for two weeks and shit, and then as soon as the cruise over, they act like they don't know nobody. They're real. They just go back to their own lives. That's crazy. My thing is like, why are why are cruise flings a thing? If there are a bunch of single women and men on the fucking cruise, and you could fuck whoever you want, why? Why why lock yourself down for a week on a cruise with one person? That doesn't make any sense to me. You can have somebody different every night. Just bring a box of condoms, the big box, the 10 pack. Y'all might need 20 because y'all know y'all know how to put condoms on. Y'all are too young for that. Cut it out. <laughs> Yo, I hate being from Hartford. There's nothing here. Yeah, Connecticut. That's rough, man. Oof. What do you guys got? Like huskies or something? That, that's where the huskies are? I don't know. Hey, Dashon. Poverty. There's a lot of poverty in in uh harford so you guys have that then go to close app where, where do you go to close app where's that at look at all why is why is it so many menus there's no way you can convince me this shit is intuitive look at this shit bruh look at this shit there's more menus than games i just want to close the app bruh how do i do that Look at this shit, dog. What the fuck? It's already closed. Y'all are trolling. All right, yeah, I'm out. That's the stream for today. I'm out. This is ridiculous. I fucking hate this thing, dude. I fucking hate this thing, man. And I'm not even trying to be funny. I fucking hate this Xbox. Phil Spencer, please, anybody clip this. Phil Spencer, when the new Xbox comes out, get rid of this shit. It fucking pisses me off, man. This shit is awful.
It's awful, man. It's a fucking nightmare using this thing, man. It's a fucking nightmare, man. I swear to God, bro. It just ruins my day every time I turn this thing on. Like, it's a powerful console. I get it. But it's just, it's not American, man. It's not right with it. I am about to call Xbox support, bro. Please, somebody, man. Jesus Christ. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you'll never miss another video. Also, consider pledging my Patreon. It helps keep the lights on. There's a link in the description box below. Peace.